Hey, Zach here from Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center. Uh, today, a little bit more of a serious discussion and we're gonna talk about cold water safety and paddling in, in cold conditions. So it's a chilly spring day here in, uh, in Frontenac, early April. Uh, ice is let out super early this year. Uh, you know, kind of paying attention to the, the message boards online. There's a lot of chatter about people getting out and do I need a dry suit and am I okay without one? You know, I, I don't know what the proper answer is. You need to be dressed for the swim is the bottom line. You know, paddling within your means. There's so many, so many things that could go wrong that having a margin of safety is gonna be huge. So let's chat about a couple things. Do you need a dry suit? No, you don't need a dry suit. Now, you know, I might get criticized for saying that. This time of year, ideally, yeah, you're gonna wear a dry suit. You're gonna be able to wear, you know, layers underneath of that that are gonna keep you warm and protected. A dry suit on itself does not insulate you at all, but it protects you from the, the effects of the cold water and zapping that heat out of you. Layering properly underneath it is equally as important. Is wearing jeans and a cotton shirt appropriate? Absolutely not. You know, the, the very least you're gonna want a wetsuit and a paddling top. And, and even then this time of year, that's it's still maybe not enough. So staying close to shore, paddling within your means and your comfort level are gonna be two of the bigger factors in, in regards to that. A term, you know, dry suit shaming has been thrown around because there's a lot of new paddlers this year. Uh, so windy. There's a lot of new paddlers this year who, who maybe don't know what a dry suit is or, or paddling within, uh, with immersion protection. So what is immersion protection? Uh, you know, it's, it's essentially dressing for the swim. What is the water temperature that you're gonna be paddling in? Well, obviously this time of year, everywhere, that water is literally hovering just below zero degrees. Think of it this way. Do you wanna go swimming in that water? That's kind of a good way to put it. So how are you gonna dress for that? Well, at the minimum, I would say, and this is how I started, um, is with a, a Farmer John, a three mil Farmer John and a paddling top will take you a long way. Upgrading to a dry suit, uh, the, the prices, you know, they range widely uh, from under a thousand bucks for, you know, kind of a really entry level one, all the way up to a couple grand for some of the higher end ones. So I think what the point I'm getting at here is, is no, you don't need to wear, you don't, you don't need to own a dry suit. You don't need to own one. You do need to be prepared though, in the event, if you capsize. It's like seat belts and helmets on motorcycles and bicycles. You know, it's, they're there. You know, the law says you need to wear your seatbelt in a vehicle. Why? Well, because people died when they weren't wearing them. And the unfortunate thing is, and we're gonna see it this year, I can almost guarantee it, as unfortunate as it is, is we are gonna see people pass away on the water because they're not wearing a life jacket. They're, they're not prepared for the temperature of the water that they're paddling in. And it's not that hypothermia is gonna get you, it's cold water shock falling in, your body reef, reflexing to that cold water, gasping while you're underwater, especially if you're not wearing a PFD. And that's it, story's over. Um, and I, I really hope we don't see a lot of fatalities this, this early season, um, but you know, the statistics don't lie and it happens every year. Uh, so certainly a little bit more of a serious conversation today, but I want, I want to present this information to you so that you understand that you, you don't have to own a dry suit, but you do, 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 do need to be prepared for the event if you do fall in. If you have any questions, give us a call, send us an email. Thanks for watching.